Okay, time to start here. The first thing will be replacing this lintel. It's uh, rotten. There's three of them here. The, the first two I need to replace. The, the one on the front is, is okay. That's first, and then this one is going to go out. It's currently carrying the floor on this side. Over there the beams are in the wall, but over here they're not. I've got steel anchors that's, that are going to go in the wall here to support these beams. And when this one is out, um, I have a hole in the wall for the chimney. Because this one's in the way for the stove at the moment.
All right, that went well. So far, so good. The outside lintel is um, is also rotten and old, but it's quite narrow, so it doesn't carry that much. So I'm gonna keep it because I like how it looks outside. It's very old, and the new lintels will do most of the work. It's gonna be. I think three new ones, I'll put a big one in there as well, so it's going to be just, those are going to be carrying the walls.
All right, let me show you. You'll know, have to find the best way um, for all this needs to go out. Sometimes small stones come out, that's fine. I'll put something back. But I basically need space to put in new mortar, right? So this yeah. is a good gap. Yeah. You don't have to go super deep. Okay. But everything that's on the surface or close to the surface, that pipe needs to go out. Five centimeters or so? Okay. Yeah, sometimes shorter. Okay. You'll see, this is a nice gap. Here it gets a bit more tricky. I mean, I, this is a stone that could go out. It's yeah, the ones. There's, uh, here, there's, I mean, there's a bit of a crack going on here. But. warm today. Thank you. 
So German backpacking. Oh, is... I thought it said bum track, but it doesn't. Oh, no. It's a track. Not as small as that. <laughs> Whatever that is. <laughs> Travel light. Yeah, it's very light. Just a really, really tiny one for me, Martin. Yeah. But I don't really drink. You don't drink at all? No. So I just like to taste it. <laughs> I stopped drinking four years ago. For the reason? Mm. I was partying a lot in London. Yeah. It's very easy. <laughs> <laughs> So I turned left before this end, this exit. You turn right now? Yeah. Before your camper van, I took the left. Which yeah, how did you end up there? Because you went into another valley to start off, basically. So I, I came up this road, and then there's a left over a concrete bridge, and I pushed my bike up, and um, and it was steeper than this road, and it was yeah. only it only had the you know the like the walking signs which are red and white. Mm. So it's more down there. The one further down. Ah, right, and I yeah. pushed up for an hour, and then I looked at the map, and I didn't, I couldn't see how I was going to get across to your pin. Yeah. Well, I've been really struck by as I've been cycling around Piedmont, is how rich this area was. I don't know what you know, like maybe the 1850s. The Po Valley. Most, it, well, yeah, yeah. Turin, Turin was the capital. Wealthy. Briefly, mm. yeah. Back then. And. Like, you go through these villages, which are smaller than the village that I grew up in. <coughs> so, like, 1,400 people live there. Mm. And the architecture is unbelievable. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. it must have been super wealthy. Oh, there's a reason Napoleon invaded it twice. That's mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> great. Thank <laughs> you.